In this video, I will be explaining how to use the plugin manager in Cubase to add plugins to your available list, as well as create custom collections of plugins. I'll be using Cubase 12, but this video applies to older versions of Cubase as well. To open the plugin manager, navigate to Studio VST Plugin Manager from the top window. By default, the window that opens shows the VST effects, but for this video, we're going to look at VST instruments. In the large box on the left, we have a list of all the plugins that Cubase has found when scanning your chosen plugin folders. To scan any new or custom folders, click the settings cog at the bottom, and then click the plus sign to add a new file path. This is helpful if you want to use a non-default location for your plugin files. On the right hand side, we have the collections tab. This is where you can edit the plugins that are shown to you as well as create custom folders to contain them in. To create a new collection, click this plus button here. To create a new folder within a collection, click the folder icon. The trash icon will delete the selected folder. Please note that if you use a custom collection, you will need to manually add all new plugins to this collection each time you install a new product. Once we have created a new folder, we can then start to put plugins into that folder. To do this, just click and drag the plugin from the left side box to the folder on the right. If a plugin already exists in the collection, it will be highlighted on the right side when selected on the left. If you're unsure which version of a plugin to use, check the article linked in the description about the different plugin types. To remove a plugin from your collection, right click it on the right side and choose delete. I've created a small collection here to demonstrate. Now, once our collection is finished, we can go back to the main window of Cubase and add an instrument track. You'll see that our new collection now appears. If I navigate back to the Collections tab and change Collections, you'll see that now all of my default plugins appear. The three dashes along the right side in this view indicate whether a plugin is running in VST3 or VST2. If the three dashes are present, it is a VST3 plugin. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast, or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question, and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks, and exclusive Spitfire content.